this sucks. I'm not going to lie. It sucks to feel things sometimes, but at least you're feeling it because if you feel it, you can heal it. If you don't feel it, you can never heal it. My name is Jack and welcome to States Unlocked. It's the place to learn about social psychology, human behavior, and also learn practical tips on how you can improve your life. If you'd like to understand yourself and others better, please hit subscribe, like this video if you like the video, leave me a comment if you can as well because it really helps me grow in the algorithm. And without further ado, we're gonna get on with the topic of this video, which is the internalized voice of gaslighting. Gaslighting is where we are Conditioned that our belief is not right. Some people, abusive people, do their best to get us to think that our perception is off, our perception is wrong, the way we're seeing things is not accurate. This can sometimes come in the form of downright lying, so people can say one thing and then even a second later, five seconds later, or however long later can say, I never said that, I didn't do that, when in fact they did. And the idea is to get you to doubt that your perception is right. This can be very problematic for ourselves because we can internalize this gaslighting voice, particularly if we've been subject to this abuse. And I do need to stress that this is abuse, okay? When we've been subject to this for lots of time, for years and years and years, it could be a short relationship which has done this to us, or it could be from childhood with your parents. Unfortunately, this phenomenon is very common, but this can be extremely dangerous because we can start to believe that we are wrong and we can start to feel bad for actually asserting ourselves. Sometimes if we are the kind of people who tend to be people pleasers or people that want things to be a certain way, i.e. we want life to be perfect and we want to get along with people, sometimes this can create a lot of issues because we can start asserting ourselves and say, hey, this is wrong. And then some of us then go back on that because we start feeling like a bad person because we feel like we should be getting along with people all the time and we, don't want to assert ourselves and actually it's really important to recognize that sometimes this can be self gaslighting so if we start thinking well actually maybe it wasn't that bad maybe they didn't mean to do this maybe i am wrong etc this is where we the self-doubt comes into play this is the d design of gaslighting this is what gaslighting is designed to do it's designed to get us to question our perception to actually make us think okay maybe i am wrong and this basically becomes the gaslighting voice from the outside being infiltrated inside and we adopt it and it lives inside of us, okay? And then it starts taking over our own thoughts. And it basically takes us away from ourselves, from our deep inner knowing of what's right, what's wrong, what's going on, what's not going on. Now, a lot of people do this, a lot of people gaslight and people often don't necessarily know what they're doing. A lot of people do know what they're doing as well. so. Even if someone knows what they're doing or don't know what don't know what they're doing, it actually doesn't really matter because the bottom line is that it is not genuine behavior. It's not a behavior that's going to support you. What I do want to say is that you have power in this, okay? You might not feel that you have power in this and you might not have power to change the person. And that is something that is very difficult to accept at times. If this is someone we've loved, that we do love, it's a family member, it's a boyfriend, it's a girlfriend, it's someone that we are very attached to, it can be very difficult to accept, okay? This is abuse, this person is abusing me, number one, and number two, I'm never gonna be able to change them. But you do have power in the sense that you don't have to engage with it, you don't have to argue with the gaslighter because you know what's going on, you know that it is wrong behavior, it's wrong treatment, and it makes you feel bad. Now, a lot of the time we can get stuck in these patterns because we have this fairy tale idea of what life should be like, and we have a very hard time accepting that life does not fit that script. Actually, a lot of the time people are traumatized and they're acting out and hurting other people. And it's really important to acknowledge that none of this is okay. If you've experienced this kind of abuse for months or even years, there is a chance that the voice of the gaslighter has now been internalized, meaning that we start gaslighting ourselves, which is the design of gaslighting, as I've said before, and it is something that is horrible. It is abuse. It is not your own internal dialogue. This voice actually disconnects us from ourselves and makes us suppress our own inner knowing and it disconnects us with our inner compass. The more we can gain an awareness of this, the more we can actually understand this is not my voice, this is something I have been programmed to believe, to doubt myself, then we can start to undermine it and ignore the voice and answer back to the voice, aka the belief systems inside of us. But until we are aware of that, we are going to believe that it's us. Now, this is so common. If you're going through this, I don't want you to feel super alone and think, oh my God, this has happened to me. And 
I am the only one because unfortunately this happens to a hell of a lot of people. There is a lot of abusive people out there. There's a lot of people with narcissistic traits that are quite far along the spectrum of narcissism all the way to the point where they've got narcissistic personality disorder. And then there's other people who are, you know, basically very negative for us and negative for our lives that are going to do these kind of behaviors that are going to have an impact on us. And particularly if you're an empathetic, sensitive person, if you're someone that struggles with codependency or any of these kind of issues. And to be honest, there's a hell of a lot of people that are going through that. So again, don't feel alone. Then you are likely to be someone that may very well be attracted to the kinds of people that would do these kinds of behaviors. There is hope for you. Okay. There is not hope for someone that is so disconnected from themselves to the point where they are never going to be able to reconnect. These are narcissists that I'm talking about. If you are not that way, you have hit the jackpot. Now it might feel like you are the one who's having to deal with all the pain. You are the one who's having to deal with all of the crappy emotions. And this sucks. I'm not going to lie. It sucks to feel things sometimes, but at least you're feeling it because if you feel it, you can heal it. If you don't feel it, you can never heal it. People that are narcissistic and that gaslight, it's because they are running away all the time from reality. They're trying to distort reality all of the time in order to get their own way and behave however the hell they want to behave. This is ugly behavior. This is abusive behavior and you don't deserve to do to put up with it. And also it is not the making of a decent human being. We cannot fix these people. It's so important to recognize that and grieve that, okay? Because that is very painful. It's very painful to accept that someone you love, it could be your mother, your father, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your best friend, anyone in your life could be doing this to you. And it can be really upsetting to realize they're never gonna change. But it's so important to recognize that and accept that because the moment you do that, the moment you stop trying to make it happen. Now you can accept it and then fall back in all patterns of like, oh, if they could just see what they're doing, why can't they just see what they're doing? Just see what they're doing, they could stop it. And you are looking at it from your perspective, which is someone that would not do this kind of behavior because you know that it's wrong. You know that it is abusive. You know that there's no point to it, but you are also not necessarily someone that would do the same things that they would do. So this is so important to recognize because if you try and apply your way of seeing the world and your perspective onto everyone else, you're setting yourself up for failure because this is the key. They are not like you. You have a different psychology. Maybe you have mental illness in some other area, but they have mental illness in this area. Now, it is really important to recognize that narcissistic personality disorder and things of that nature, they are mental illnesses. They're recognized mental illnesses. There can be such a tendency to demonize these kinds of people, but their brains work in different ways. They are lacking empathy, usually because they've gone through severe trauma. People that go through trauma can often go in, they can go in many different directions, but people that tend to struggle with these patterns can be on, be on one end of, the, end of the spectrum or the other. So people tend to go towards codependency, enmeshment, and you know, people pleasing, trying to fix people, or they can go the complete opposite end of the spectrum, which is they are very narcissistic, they lack empathy, and they're both adaptations, they're both defense mechanisms, they're both ways to survive. Now, if you are on the codependent end of the spectrum, you are more lucky in my opinion, because there is a chance to heal. If you are on the other end of the spectrum, good luck healing, because you're probably never going to, because you have disconnected from yourself at such a young age to a degree where you can't take any accountability. Your ego is so fragile that you are not able to do that. Now, this is why people that gaslight can't take accountability for their behavior. That's why they gaslight in the first place. If you say to someone, you're doing this, you've said this, and that means them taking accountability for their behavior, that is incredibly threatening to that person because that would then mean to that person, I am a bad person, I have to take responsibility. So. Their way of coping with that is to deflect, distract, distort reality, gaslight you, and unfortunately, you are just the person that is having to deal with it. Oftentimes, if you're an empathic person, if you're someone that is invested in telling the truth and you're actually wanting to get to the bottom of things, this might affect you more because you are more susceptible to it because you're trying to get honesty out of someone that can't be honest because that is the way that you are. Again, please, please, please wake up to the fact that they are not you. You are not them. They are, you are different human beings. And someone that could do this clearly is not thinking in the way that you're thinking. It is actually pitiful behavior and something to feel sorry for. Not feel sorry for to the point where you enable it and allow it. Loving disallowance, okay, recognizing you're ill, 
and I don't want to be a part of this because you're never going to get better, but I can still do it in a loving, disallowing way. This is something that I believe we should all be striving for if we're in relationship to these abusive, toxic people because you're never going to heal them. To be honest, they're probably never going to heal themselves. They are the kind of people that take and take and take and take and you have the power within this to stop enabling it. Stop giving. Stop giving to people that are just taking and giving nothing back. It's hard to do if you're an empathic person because this is what you've been trained to do. If you struggle with codependency, you've been trained to give and give and give and give, but it's time to stop giving to these people because you are giving from your own internal resources and you're leaving your well dry and they are not going to give back any water. They are not going to give you anything back that is going to nourish you and sustain you. They're not going to love you because they are, have a limited capacity for love. And again, this is so important to recognize. Please confront this internal voice of the gaslighter because it is not your voice, it is theirs. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it. Please give me a comment because it helps with the algorithm. Plus, I want to hear from you and I want to hear what you've got to say because I'd love to chat with you about this. So thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao. Bye.